The most polluted areas of the world are typically little known even in their own countries, yet they impact millions of people, leading to cancers, birth defects, mental retardation and reduced life expectancies all over the globe. Here are 10 of the most polluted places in the world. Firstly, Chernobyl, Ukraine. Chernobyl is the infamous site of the worst nuclear disaster in history. On April 26, 1986, a fiery meltdown of the nearby nuclear reactor's core released 100 times more radiation than the atom bombs dropped over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now, more than two decades later, the 19-mile exclusion zone around the plant remains uninhabitable and local residents still show the scars of the disaster. Skin lesions, respiratory ailments, infertility and birth defects were the norm for years following the accident in the contaminated areas in Belarus, Russia and Ukraine, and from 1993 to 2002, more than 4,000 cases of thyroid cancer were diagnosed among children and adolescents from this region. Number 2. Africa. In Kabwe, Zambia, 95% of children suffer from elevated blood lead levels caused by lead mining and smelting. Experts described the situation as a severe environmental health crisis, and Kabwe was named as one of the most polluted places on Earth. Exposure to lead during childhood impairs neurological development, causing lifelong cognitive deficits. Extremely high levels of exposure, such as those seen in Kabwe, can cause blindness, paralysis and death. The people of the Niger Delta in Nigeria have lived with oil pollution and gas flaring for decades, resulting in extensive physical and mental health problems caused by contaminated air, water and food. Adverse health effects of exposure to oil pollution include abnormalities in blood, liver, kidney, respiratory and brain functions, as well as asthma attacks, headaches, diarrhea, dizziness, abdominal pain and back pain. Average life expectancy for residents of the Niger Delta is only 40 years, compared to 55 years for Nigeria as a whole. In 2006, thousands of people in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, were harmed and 15 killed by the illegal dumping of toxic waste containing high levels of hydrogen sulfide offloaded, from the vessel Prabo Koala. A review of the hospital records of more than 10,000 patients determined that the main impacts included respiratory problems, such as coughs and chest pains, and digestive symptoms, such as abdominal pain, diarrhea and vomiting. In many African cities, up to 90% of waste is dumped in the open. Much of it is burned, sending plumes of noxious pollutants into homes, lungs and the environment. These emissions include dioxins, hydrocarbons and black carbon, all highly toxic climate pollutants. Decomposing organic waste also generates methane, which triggers open burning and is a major contributor to climate change. Number 3. Lin Fen. China. At Lin Fen, residents have said they literally choke on coal dust in the evenings. This city lies in Shaanxi province in China, the heart of the country's enormous and expanding coal industry, which provides roughly two-thirds of the nation's energy. China has noted that Lin Fen has the worst air quality in the country, but it exemplifies many cities in the nation, the World Bank has stated that 16 out of 20 of the world's worst polluted cities are in China. The city does plan to replace small, highly polluting plants with larger, cleaner, more regulated facilities, and toxic emissions will be cut further by shifting from coal to gas for central heating. Number 4. Eastern Europe. Bor, Serbia, is one of the most polluted European cities, largely because of a huge copper mining and smelting complex that emits massive amounts of sulfur dioxide, particulates, arsenic, lead, zinc and mercury. UNEP described a devastating legacy of environmental problems, with sulfur dioxide concentrations occasionally exceeding the measuring range of monitoring equipment. The Borska Reka River is so contaminated with heavy metals that experts described it as without any trace of life. Metallurgical workers have high levels of arsenic in their hair and urine, with nearly 80% suffering from an average of two chronic diseases. Norilska is among the most polluted cities in the Russian Federation, suffering very high levels of air pollution, acid rain, water pollution and soil contamination. The main source of pollution is the mining and smelting company Norilska Nickel, which caused a catastrophic diesel spill in 2020 affecting the Pusina River. 
Very high levels of heavy metals have been found in fish, moss, soil and snow in the region. The most adversely affected communities are indigenous peoples from Tamer, who face high rates of respiratory diseases, cancer, weakened immune system, premature births, reproductive failure, increased childhood morbidity and life expectancy 10 years below the national average. Although the Pata Rat Landfill in Cluj-Napoca, Romania, closed in 2015, thousands of marginalized Roma people still live in the area, regarded as one of the worst waste dumps in Europe. They lack access to safe drinking water, sanitation or decent housing, leading researchers to describe Pata Rat as a desolate scenario of dehumanization. People are exposed to arsenic, benzene, cadmium, chromium, along with many other harmful pollutants. Number 5. Western Europe and North America. One of the most notorious pollution hotspots in Canada, Chemical Valley, in Ontario has disturbing health effects on the Amjanong First Nation. There are more than 40 large petrochemical, polymer, oil refining and chemical facilities in close proximity to Amjanong, as well as a coal-fired power plant. This indigenous community endures some of the worst air quality in Canada. Physical and psychological health problems are common, including high rates of miscarriages, childhood asthma, and cancer. In the United States, cancer rates are far higher than the national average in predominantly black communities such as St. John the Baptist Parish, located in Louisiana's Cancer Alley, which is home to more than 150 refineries and petrochemical plants, including the world's largest producer of styrofoam. Large polluting industrial facilities in the United States are disproportionately located in communities with the highest percentages of persons of African descent, the lowest household incomes and the highest proportion of residents who did not graduate from high school. A leading scholar wrote that, enabled by state zoning, a wave of chemical plants dropped on African American communities like a bomb. Cancer Alley contains seven of the ten United States census tracts with the highest risk of cancer from air pollution. In 2020, air concentrations of cancer-causing chloroprene in St. John the Baptist Parish were 8,000 times higher than the acceptable level established by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Number 6. Latin America and the Caribbean. Quintero Puchancavi, the most notorious sacrifice zone in Chile, is home to the Ventanas Industrial Complex, comprising more than 15 industrial businesses, oil refineries, petrochemical facilities, coal-fired power plants, gas terminals and a copper smelter. In 2018, a major air pollution incident in Quintero Puchancavi made hundreds of schoolchildren ill. In the Universal Periodic Review process, the United Nations country team recommended that Chile investigate the negative effects on the inhabitants of sacrifice zones, accelerate the implementation of remediation programs and develop environmental quality standards in accordance with WHO international standards. The Supreme Court of Chile concluded that the egregious air pollution in Quintero Puchancavi violated the right to a pollution-free environment and ordered the government to take steps to address the problem. Water and soil in Guadeloupe and Martinique are contaminated by unsafe levels of the pesticide chlordicone. Although the manufacturing and use of this pesticide was banned in the 1970s in the United States, it continued to be used in the West Indies into the 1990s. Residents are still exposed to chlordicone through drinking water and the food that they grow because of the pesticide's persistence in the environment. 90% of people living in Guadeloupe and Martinique have been found to have chlordicone in their blood, raising their risk of cancer. Garbage dumps in numerous Caribbean nations are regularly set on fire, despite the presence of plastics, used tires and other items that generate extremely hazardous chemicals when burned. This practice creates massive, lingering clouds of toxic smoke. Number 9. Rehad, Saudi Arabia. Rehad which is the largest city in Saudi Arabia is also its most polluted, with 15 times what a healthy average annual PM 2.5 should be. The city attributes the high pollution days in part to sulfur dioxide in the air, which predominantly comes from industrial activities. Saudi Arabia is the largest oil exporter in OPEC and contributes to the huge environmental impacts associated with oil drilling. This includes hydraulic fracturing, oil spills, and air pollution. With an abundance of cheap gasoline at around 18 cents per liter, there is no incentive to economize or be frugal in its use. 
With zero veer 50% of the population being under 25 years there is a huge car culture where the rich young men take pride in their expensive gas guzzling cars. Many Italian supercars find their way over to Saudi Arabia. The government openly encourages energy use through subsidies. These currently amount to 43 billion United States dollars per annum. Inexpensive oil products almost supports excessive usage which leads to high rates of domestic oil consumption. The hot arid climate in Saudi Arabia causes widespread use of air conditioning system as a means of controlling the oppressive temperatures. This obviously leads to large energy consumption and increased levels of carbon dioxide. Number 10. Sitaram River, Indonesia. The longest river on the island of Indonesia has been subject to intense pollution as a result of rapid industrial and population growth. The river, which supports more than 30 million people, is clogged with plastic waste and dumped factory chemicals, making it one of the most polluted water sources in the world. The accumulation of plastic waste in the river may cause harmful effects that can be life-threatening. The waste is deposited into the river's sediments and makes the water depth more shallow. According to local people in Bandung Regency, they had mined the river's sediment because it contained a high proportion of soil. However, nowadays, the sediment contains more plastic than before. In general, the accumulation of plastic and waste may cause flooding that regularly happens in some areas near the Sitaram River. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and remember to subscribe for more exciting content in the future.